वेलकम बैक टुडे विल बी सॉल्विंग लीड कोड 121 बेस्ट टाइम टू बाय एंड सेल स्टॉक प्रॉब्लम सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन लिस्ट ऑफ प्राइजेस एंड ईच प्राइस एलिमेंट इंडिकेट्स द प्राइस ऑफ दैट स्टॉक ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर डे एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द मैक्सिमम प्रॉफिट यू कैन अचीव बाय बाइंग एंड सेलिंग एग्जैक्टली वन स्टॉक एंड ओनली वन so that means if you buy a stock at zero today you need to sell that stock at the upcoming days at any of the upcoming days so that your profit is maximized so let's see how to solve this um so first we will uh, uh, so first we will do is we will traverse the array and while traversing the array our only motive will be to maximize our profit that means our only motive is first to buy the stock at a minimum possible price so going forward in this array of elements we will try to select an element that is we will try to buy a stock with the minimum possible price that is our first motive a second motive is to sell the sell the stock that we have bought at the maximum possible price after the day we have bought the stock that means suppose if we have bought the stock at day 1 that me uh, then that means after that we need to sell the stock at the upcoming days with which we can maximize the profit that means at the highest possible price we need to sell the stock so first we need to find the day with the minimum possible price and then when we have found the day with the minimum possible uh, at the minimum possible price then then the later days the days after the day we have bought the stock we need to find the maximum possible price right so first the minimum possible price then the maximum possible price because the difference between the maximum possible price after we have bought the stock and the minimum possible price before we have before we have sold the stock will maximize the profit so let's dummy um, dummy solution this let's um, traverse this array and see if we can find the solution with the approach that we discussed so um, we need to find the minimum possible price first so we'll we'll keep in uh, keep a variable and we'll store the minimum possible price there so we'll we'll um, come to 7 we'll come to 7 and then store the value 7 in a minimum possible price element then we'll come to 1 then we'll see that 1 is indeed less than 7 so we'll change 1 as a minimum possible price then we'll come to 5 we know that 5 is not less than 1 then if 5 is not less than 1 then we will assume that we have sold our stock at 5 right we'll try we'll compute the profit we'll compute the profit uh and we'll see if we if we have reached a maximum profit so if we come at 5 and fi since 5 is not less than 1 we'll assume that we sell the stock at 5 that means our profit will be then 5 minus 1 4 right then we'll come at 3 we'll come at 3 and we'll see that 3 is again not less than 1 and since 3 is not less than 1 we will also assume that okay we are not sold okay let's not sell our stock at 5 let's sell our stock at 3 as well so 3 minus 1 is 2 but since our profit here is 2 and our earlier profit was 4 that means our answer is still 4 our answer is still 4 then we'll come at 6 again 6 is again also not less than 1 that means we also assume that instead of selling the stocks at these two places we we'll sell the stock at this then we again uh, compute a profit our compute our profit comes out to be 5 and since 5 is the highest profit we have achieved till now that means 5 is our answer till now then we come again at 4 at 4 also we will see that uh, also let's assume our we sell a stock at 4 then profit will be 4 minus 1 3 and since 3 is not the highest profit we have achieved it that means we it, that is not our answer and then we come at the end of our array and we have our answer answer was when we sell our stock at 6 and our target was 5 hence the answer 5 so let's try to code this up now so we'll first compute a minimum price element a minimum price element is we'll assume our minimum price element is at index 0 right um then we will compute our res, the result a result also let's initialize it as 0 then we'll traverse the array for i range prices then we'll check whether our element is uh, whether our current element is smaller than our minimum price if it is then we assign a minimum price we re reassign a minimum price to that element so we'll check if uh minimum price is greater than 
price is i if it is we reassign our price to price is i else else we need to check um if our profit is greater than this right so else if our menu price if our price element is not greater than minimum price if uh, if our price element is not less than minimum price then we will compute a profit so we will compute a profit now um so price is i minus minimum price is greater than this res is our target res is our profit res is our profit so we, if if we see that the current profit is greater than the overall profit that we have previously computed then we will reassign our profit price is i minus win s right and at the end we will just need to return our s let's run this and see if it works okay uh so it says index error must be followed by an if uh, else if yeah let's run this now yeah and now let's submit it if and see if it works and it does and it's pretty efficient um so we'll meet again in another video thank you so much